and Kara Menzel, so keep it here. Duo. They're best friends, authors, native New Yorkers, and most importantly, they're sisters. So please welcome Adina and Kara Menzel. Yeah. fall in our heels. Girl, <laughs> but y'all got it. That's why you need your sisters yeah, to hold exactly. you up. So if you fall, you fall together, That's right? That's right. Okay. I, I'm, I'm so excited you both are here. We're excited to be. Congratulations. Thank you, oh, Adina. Thank you. Girl, so this is all about you. Uh, what most excites me is you have now become a Disney legend. I, uh, if y'all, yes. yes. Now, you never, you know, and, and how many of your kids love Frozen, okay? <laughs> yes. Yes, I so. don't think you realize you're sitting in the presence of a legend. The girl, a... yes, I do, let it go. Girl, <laughs> yes, I do. I've been sitting in the presence of a legend my whole life. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> like, oh my God. Well, a week ago, yeah, they did the Disney legend thing um, at the D23, whatever, and it was great, and it was a, it was a dream come true, honestly, and it's, we're, uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much already. Well, I'm no, like, we just started, uh, we just okay. started talking, I, girl, I, you're good. I'm so aware, <laughs> it's funny, I'm big sister, and I always take up too much space, I feel like, I'm the oh, boss. Let me one. tell you, I have space for your sister. Okay. <laughs> we family, I got space I for Kara. <laughs> but since you think you're talking too much, let Kara. me go and go to sister. <laughs> Kara, I'm really excited you're here because you. now Adina's like grinning like crazy <laughs> because you are here. But you are, you are a teacher, you are an author, you're so accomplished. Thank and you. now you're here on this couch. Like, this is a whole new kind of new world for you being in, you know, teaching, and now it's like you're out here on TV shows, you're I, talking about I get books. straight hair one day, I get curly hair another day. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest trepidation is walking out in the heels. Yes, it's like, I know. Not. We had you on the 360 and you were like, okay, don't wanna <laughs> fall, okay. I turn you, like, turn you around. We turn you around. Mm -hmm. And now, okay, so I also heard that when, you know, be, now you're just in the public eye. So right. you, you're feeling good about being in the public eye now? Cause this is the, this is no. where you're at. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm grateful. I'm so grateful, um, and it's fun. But it's mostly fun just to do it with with yes, my sister. To do it together. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. it's more fun for me. Yeah. Yes. We're like, we've got all the clothes laid out at home. We've got yeah, the jewelry but, laid out. It's just like, you and know. And the thing is that she she makes me sound smarter. <laughs> she makes you sound smarter. Wherever we go, I just I'm really good on the talk shows now because she sounds really good. <laughs> Well, that's the one good thing, because when you're with your sister, you can kind of nudge her when you're running out of stuff. Yes. And then, and then Kara can take over. Yeah, we yeah. have this funny thing when we were um, pitching our book that we'll talk about yes. after the children's book. It was during the pandemic, and and um, we had to do like a, we couldn't go in person and meet with the publisher, right. so we had to make a cute little movie that talked yes. about our inspiration and what we were thinking with the book and talk about ourselves. And then we came up with this line where I was supposed to say, hi, we're the Manziel sisters. I'm uh, Adina. I'm Adina, no. I'm Adina, I'm Kara. I'm Kara. Uh -huh. And I say, I'm, she's smarter. And I say, she's cooler. Right, but then I kept telling her, don't say she's cooler, say, she's cooler. Uh -huh. I kept right. giving her like a direction. So you on still it. big sister so telling me. There's a right way to say yeah. cooler, and I couldn't find There's it. There's not a right way to say cooler, I was just being a <laughs> bitch. I'm sorry, I'm like, <laughs> no, no, you Because <laughs> this is what sisters do. That's a joke. Now we always refer to. She's, she's cooler. cooler. She's and cooler. meanwhile, that word is not in the children's book, mind you. It's... Oh, what? The word bitch? Yes. It's not in the joke? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is, 
I love, I just love watching you two and your chemistry being sisters. And I know I was talking about Julie Roberts helping Garcelle Bouvet find a guy. So, uh, Kara, they told me that you were on Match.com yes. looking for a man while Adina's just living her married life and she was just, right. you were out there. Now, why are you now? Let me set it up. Okay. I, I used to be married to Tay Diggs, so he's yes. still one of my best friends. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, and, and, um, and then, I know. in South Africa. And then I was in South Africa after Wicked, um, and I was doing a movie with Colin Farrell, who was like the only movie star, if you had your choice, you know, like before we were celebrities, Tay said like, who's your guy that you yes. could be with if you were allowed? Oh, the hall pass. And it was called the hall pass. Uh -huh. And then I was actually in a movie with him. Uh -huh. So um, so that was happening and yeah. simultaneously. I'm, I'm, an, I'm a newly single mother. In I, Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado. I'm on Match.com at like 2 a.m. <laughs> trying to remember that I'm still a woman. Um, Girl. And, and I'm, you know, just man after man, hoping this guy, if I met him in person, still had hair, still had teeth, <laughs> you know? And then I'm on the phone with her, and she's like, Colin Farrell's calling me, and Tay's calling me, and I was like, you know what? You could just not talk to me right Thank now. Thank you! <laughs> Your sister is Adina Menzel with Colin Farrell. She over here talking to her husband about I Hall Pass, and her sister yes. is on Match.com in Boulder, Colorado. I know. And who's married now and who's divorced? Yes. <laughs> I, did, um, I did meet my husband on Match.com. Yes. 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 OK, because I canceled my membership with them. I'm going to get back on Match.com. It was a long time ago. It's okay, 10 years Well, maybe now. that's why they changed management. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> But we are all boy moms, yes. like, and so I know, uh, Adina, when Jeffrey, oh, I don't know what y'all clapping for, sometimes the boys. Boy mama. But I know I wore Jeffrey's t-shirt the other day and he had almost a heart attack yes, when I wore his t-shirt. You wore your son's Yeezys and what happened? Well, all right, he had, he had Yeezys because it was a Christmas present and we did go there with, them, right. with him. But um, yeah, he's size seven now and that's my size, so he'll oh. grow out of it and I'll get to keep all the cool Jordans right. and these. But I was just too lazy to run up the stairs. We were running. I was running to pick him up at school. And um, I was like, oh, I'm not going to go upstairs. I'll just go into Walker's room. And I saw the Yeezys and I had never put on Yeezys. So I put them on with no socks, apparently. <laughs> and I went. <laughs> And I picked him up, and he looked at me with horror, like, how dare yes. you? Not only pick me up wearing my shoes, but without socks. Without the and, socks. And he said, do you know how expensive those shoes are? And I was like, I do. I bought those shoes. You always got to remind these kids. That is what you always end with. Yeah, I know. I bought them. Yes. Girl. And then your son, Kara, yeah. um, you know, you're a teacher. Yes. And you curse a lot. So does I he do. hear you cursing? So here's the thing. You know, between the hours of 8 and 3, I can, like, really hold it together. <laughs> yes. But then you get home, and with your own kids, it's like, oh, my gosh, I've been holding it in all day. So, <laughs> and I used to teach them, like, you know, vocabulary is amazing. And curse words are part of vocabulary. It's amazing, too. They just shouldn't be your, like, default. They yes. should be intentional. <laughs> if, if the F word is the best word you've got for something, then you use it. <laughs> but if it's not, you know, oh, no. it's not a default. But, but we had a curse jar, because they were like, Mom, you're a little out of control with the whole cursing thing. Um, and I was a like, curse Wait. jar? A curse jar. Oh, you yeah. know, where you put a quarter in every time you curse. Yeah. But then it turned out to be a terrible idea, because they were making all this money off of me. <laughs> I was the only one putting money in the curse jar. And I was like, we are done with the curse Our jar. Our dad is from the Bronx, and he's got a foul mouth. And uh, you know, he's and the, it's just you. Yeah, so it's just That's what you do. Us, you and I just love it. Not that all people from the Bronx have foul mouths, but. <laughs> My but your daddy does. does. Okay. <laughs> I just want to say this is so much fun, and I want to congratulate you on your book, Loud Mouse. Thank you. That is out now. <laughs> this is how a little mouse found her big voice. Yeah. And I love this that you guys wrote this book together. So what was the inspiration? How did it come about? It just, can we just talk for one second about how cute those mice are? Yes. They're so cute. I'm like, look how cute they're the mice, little they're version of They're mice versions is. of us. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I was inspired to, uh, well, I didn't know what kind of story I would want to do for a children's book. And when it finally occurred to me that I should sort of focus on the fact that when I was a little girl and I had this big singing voice and I wasn't sure when to kind of like call attention to myself and allow 
myself to shine out there. And when people would sort of look at it as as being like she's because she's showing off or something. Yeah. And I feel like kids and grown ups actually, women even, mm -hmm. we're never sure how much space we can take up in the world. Yes. And um, so that was something that I wanted to play with, but I knew my sister, the writer and the teacher, should be the only one that I should do it with because she gives me the integrity. Yeah. Yeah. And Kara. He's at. She's a, she's a literacy specialist, so her understanding of age-appropriate stuff with the kids and the words and um, and her lyrical quality and poetic quality of her writing is really beautiful in this, so we had a great time. I couldn't have been more excited about it. Right? Well, I love it that you say you needed Kara, Kara needed you, and mm -hmm. since you guys know each other so well, I wanted to play a game called More Than Likely, the Sister Edition. <laughs> okay, so you two, you each have paddles. There's okay. one for Kara with your name on it. And I'm going to ask you some questions about your sisterhood. Okay. Okay. Is this the right time? We, we got to switch. Okay. We got to switch. Yeah. So you okay. got Okay. Yeah. Can, I, so. can I just make it clear that um, we were, you know, offered maybe some, some cheating in the <laughs> questions might be? Yes. And I we said, didn't cheat. no, there's it, no cheating. No cheating. Okay, okay no, so. No, we don't know what we're answering right now. No. Once you reveal your answer, you got to explain yourself. Okay. 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 Are you ready? Yep. Yes. All right. Here we go. Which sister was more than likely to break curfew as a child? Oh, easy. Oh, Adina, <laughs> you were the little rebellious one? Yeah, well, you know, I was like chick singer. I was out there doing gigs at 16. Uh huh. And, you know, I was, yeah, I'm an artist. I live my life. <laughs> it goes right back to, she's cooler. OK. Yeah, exactly, she's smarter. <laughs> Okay. All right, the smart and the cool one. Okay. Which sister is more than likely to swear in public? Oh. I have an answer <laughs> here. Who's... I would say me. Uh, all right, who would you say? I Adina? would say me. Oh, both of y'all. <laughs> These are sisters from the Bronx, boy. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Which but sister... by our children's book, it's very... <laughs> <laughs> you do still go loud and loud mouth i am literally i'm elsa a 13 year old animated character <laughs> and i'm a 51 year old sexy goddess woman there you go so, whatever. okay okay so which sister is more than likely to forget to call back oh <laughs> oh, that's a dick. Adina, you don't call people back? No, I'm just, I got a lot going on up yep, here. You got a lot going on, girl. Okay. Now, which sister is more than likely to cancel dinner plans last minute? Oh. Adina <laughs> did. <laughs> OK, I see. But both of y'all are, are sexy, cool, and smart. Both of you, Kara and Adina. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much yeah. for being here. Their book, Loud Mouse. It is Loud Mouse. It is available now. Up next, celebrity makeup artist Sam Fine is here. Don't miss it. Cameron.